Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this episode, we're looking at the MXRGB9's custom software. So uh, we're gonna jump in and check out how we can customize the LED and also the macro settings in the custom software. So let's get right into it. So as you guys can see, we have the dual camera setup with one on the keyboard itself and one on myself, as you can see. So uh, let's jump right into the program. So I have my desktop right over here. So we have the program over here. I have the shortcut. We'll double click on that and you'll be greeted with the model of the MXRGB9 right here on this panel. As you can see, we have three profiles to work with and also a macro tab. Uh, so let's go through them one by one and let's start with the LED customization first. So as you guys can see, we have three profiles here. So we're gonna select profile one. Now, you want if you wanna change any of the uh, LED settings, you'll have to press the light button first, which is here. Now, uh, in default mode, it'll be in the wave effect. Uh, we have all the selections of the modes right in here in this drop-down box. We have go with stream, clouds fly, uh, snow winter jasmine, and also coastal. A bunch of these modes for you to select. So we're not going to be covering them all, but generally the settings for each and one of these modes will be uh, the brightness setting, which you can see on the keyboard. As we change that, it responds immediately. And also the speed of the effect going to be as fast as you want or as slow as you want so this one is in colorful mode which means it'll transcend from all the rgb colors but we can turn that off and it'll turn just into red or just about any color we have here on the selection panel we can go for uh, a maroon color or green or even yellow now we have a bunch of presets here but you can set your own by pressing the other button and you can select your own with just about 16.8 million colors to select from so we're going to select cyan because cyan is my favorite color. We're going to press custom color and drag it all the way to here. Drag this portion down and press add custom colors. Okay. So there you go. The keyboard itself changes to cyan. So we're going to go into another mode that's very interesting. You can actually change the LED color per keycap on the software as well. So what you do is you head to coastal, you press coastal. And as you can see, all the color labels on the keyboard itself in the diagram directly on the hardware itself. Two tools that you can work with. There's the draw tool and also the erase tool. We want to first erase this setting. Now we click all the buttons that have been illuminated to remove the colors. There we go. And then we press the tool button again. And let's assign a color. So we're going to assign the color green. And then we'll just go ahead and paint randomly. Okay. As you can see, it responds immediately on the keyboard. Okay, there we go. Now, we have another color called the basic color. Now, this color determines all of the colors except for the ones that have been selected. So now we have it at black. I'll show an example. When we click red, the rest of the keyboard becomes red. Now, the selected parts stay with the color you've chosen, but the rest of it turns to the color you selected on the basic color setting. So generally, that's how you do the LED customization. Now, this is quite the basic one for FPS. So it's like WASD, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5. But you can definitely keep adding more onto your keyboard uh, according to your playstyle, according to your needs. Uh, so just play around with this section and see what you can find out. 